Hey everyone, this is Mike with Ultimate Tech Up, and today we're converting a phone jack line to a Cat6 line. Be sure to hit subscribe for me, it's really important. It keeps this channel alive, and it's free. Okay, you'll need two parts to complete this conversion. First is a one port wall plate. I paid about a dollar for it. It's white. Second part you'll need is a Cat6 wall jack plug. It's also white. And I paid about five dollars for this and you can find both these parts at Home Depot or Lowe's. Okay, let's get started. First remove the two screws that hold the face plate to the wall. I used a cordless drill, but you can use any kind of screwdriver. Once the face plate is removed, you can see the wires that are exposed, the Cat6 wires. And you can see the two blue wires, the blue and the blue white, that connect the phone jack. Let's go ahead and cut that wire and throw away the phone jack plate. Now you're going to cut back the wires a little bit, strip them back about two inches to expose all the wires. Just be careful you don't cut the wires inside. There we go. The brown, brown white, green, green white, orange, orange white, and blue, blue white. Next you're going to cut back that inner core and the string. And make sure you cut it back all the way as far as possible so it's not in the way while you're installing the wires into the jack. Next, unwind all the wires. Now, Cat6 wires are a little more stiff than Cat5e, so it takes a little longer to unwind these wires. Okay, we're all done. Let's take a look at the Cat6 wall jack. There's your wall jack. There's the cover and the punch down tool. Also comes with instructions and your wiring diagrams. Now we're going to use the residential diagram, obviously. Okay, let's separate these wires. We're going to separate left to right. We'll do brown, white, brown, orange, orange, white on the left. We'll go ahead and insert those in by hand and then use the punch down tool to complete it. Push it all the way down. It needs to go as far as possible. There we go. Next, let's do the right side. We'll start with blue. And then blue, white, green, white, then green. Once again, make sure you punch them down all the way. I've seen it where they didn't go all the way in or one didn't go all the way in and then there was an issue with connectivity. So just make sure they're all down. And once you do this, when you're done, cut back all the rest of the extra wire. You're not going to need that. It's going to be in the way. Cut back as far as possible as you can. There you go. Trim it up. And now you're done. Now put the cover on and hit snap. And insert it into the wall plate. That's it. You're done. Now, just push it back in and then put the two screws in. Well, guys, I want to thank you again for watching and being a part of Ultimate Tech Hub. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's really important. It keeps this channel alive. And hit the bell icon also so you can be notified of future reviews and tech videos. And thank you again for watching.